Hey, all well, all fine, kick it with a Meiji. Come and have a good time, kick it with a Meiji. The grandkids and grandma, kick it with a Meiji. We in here, we in line, just to see a Meiji. All well, all fine, kick it with a Meiji. Come and have a good time, kick it with a Meiji. The grandkids and grandma, kick it with a Meiji. We in here, we in line, just to see a Meiji. Okay, guys, here we are, Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration. So, we are here. Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is hubby, y'all. We at the Immigration's office. How you feel? Feel confident. You feel confident. He ain't got nothing to worry about. He got old big mouth here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laying. Laying, laying for somebody to act up so I can get them. But no, in all seriousness, we're on our way um, in the building. We can't get in. Um, well, we can't arrive more than 15 minutes early. So it's 1.55. We're just pulling up. Um, the appointment is actually at 2.15. So we can proceed in um, like 2.05. So 10 minutes. We have to get through... Um, their security I told you guys is very top-notch security here um, I just wore something really basic today because I don't feel like them trying to take your shoes off take this off take that off take those off mm -hmm. so I just got a pair of Crocs on some tights and a nice um, T-shirt. Look, might as well take this jewelry and stuff off now because they are definitely going to have us take it off. <laughs> we do see a lot of couples out here standing around. Um, didn't get any footage because it was like trying to find parking over here. So on our way out, I'll show you guys that if I remember um, to show you anybody that may be standing around or something like that. So yeah. We are getting our paperwork together as they do request a lot of documentation. Again, they want to see like school records to show that uh, hubby is on as like emergency contact and they want the schools to write a very detailed letter stating that he does pick up the kids when necessary, drop them off like if they're running late, constant contact in the children's lives and they see him um at different functions um irs we had to get a whole transcript right yeah transcript um lease and or mortgage documentation oh all our life insurance policies because they want to see that i'm the owner and i have a policy on hubby and the same thing he's the owner and he has a policy on me and then who owns policies over the children, um, proof of documentation from work, um, of course your driving credentials and stuff like that, um, household bills, they want to see that both parties are having bills in your names and taking care of everything. Um, they basically want to make sure that it's a real marriage and that everything that they ask you for um, in advance aligns with what you have to present to them and um, what you're going to say in today's interview. We also had to come up with a lot of pictures. They want to see hubby's interaction with my family and friends mm -hmm. at different functions um, that I go with him to Nigerian events the children all partake in these events um, they want to see basically the f family dynamic and the friendships um, to prove that this is in fact a real um, union it's unfortunate that you have to go through these things however on the flip side I get it because there are a lot of arranged marriages. Um, unfortunate for them, <laughs> this is not the case. So again, they like to ask very, 
Okay, five minutes, five more minutes. Mm. Very invasive questions like, where's the trash can in your home located? And of course, um, we'll be in two different rooms. So they'll ask him like the same questions they'll ask me. They even go like, when was the last time you guys were intimate? Um, just different things to see if they can like trap you up. Um, and get you to give some information so they can hold against you or have a reason to stamp your paperwork um, denied. Um, you have to look for an immigration attorney and that's like what, 10000 $10,000 and make you start your process again or find a reason to say that they're going to deport but we are at the 10 years green card mark so this is a good one and then after that it would be what citizenship for you yes it should be let me say that because they're changing so many things right now we don't know what's to come like we really should have been beyond this point but the whole pandemic came in and things were shut down. And so they're doing things all together differently. Like today's appointment is not an appointment that was normal. But now since COVID and when Trump went in office and changed a lot of things as far as immigrations, they're taking extra steps and we don't know what they expect today. But we're going in here to handle this appointment and I'll check back in with you guys later. I always told you guys, Tony is in great hands. Tony is a lucky man. I am a lucky woman. But this is what prayerfully going through your life and doing things the right way look like, honey. Let me show you. He is a permanent resident. Do you guys see that? Do you do y'all see my handwork? Do y'all see what Mrs. Abetchi did? <laughs> my hubby belongs to me. Nobody can send him back to Nigeria but me. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Thank you for kicking. Yeah.